The recent upsurge in Muslim violence against Christians in the Middle East should come as no surprise. First the Saturday people, then the Sunday people, has long been a rallying cry for Islamic jihadists around the world. The Saturday people are the Jews, the Sunday people are Christians, and now that practically every Jew has been chased out of Muslim lands, the jihadi's bullseye is on followers of Christ. What's that you say? Jews lived in the Middle East other than in Israel? Why, yes, they did. Not long ago, close to one million Jews lived throughout the Muslim world in places like Iraq, Egypt, Yemen, and Morocco. Now, although they were forced to live as second-class citizens, or dhimmis, under Sharia law, these Jews made significant contributions to their host societies, particularly in Iraq. That all changed in the 1940s and 50s, in the run-up and immediate aftermath to the reestablishment of the State of Israel. Jews were viciously attacked in Muslim countries and subjected to deadly pogroms. Their valuables and belongings were confiscated, and there was a mass exodus of Jews from these Muslim lands into the land of Israel. In essence, the Jews of the Muslim world were ethnically cleansed, and only a handful remain today in those countries. Israel is their last refuge. And now the jihadists not only want to finish the job there, they want to do a repeat of what they did to the Jews with the Christians. Sadly, they're succeeding, while the world looks on impotently. By the way, I'm still waiting for all those Jewish refugees from Muslim lands to be reimbursed and get their property back. Maybe the UN will get involved. Then again, maybe not.